Well, it pays to be an early bird this week if you're hoping to catch a meteor shower. Newswatch 16's John Hickey shows us how to see it and where in this week's Skywatch 16. The Lyrid meteor shower peaks later this week. To learn more about meteor showers. A meteor shower happens when the Earth passes through a, a cloud of dust and debris left over from a comet that has orbited the sun. Specifically, the Lyrid meteor shower. This one always happens in April because this is the time of year when the Earth is passing through the, the comet trail left by a comet named Thatcher that passed through our solar system well over 100 years ago. I had an online chat with Matt Beakey. He's a physics professor at Juniata College. So what makes the Lyrid meteor shower the Lyrid meteor shower? The Earth at the time, at this time of year, is heading in the direction of the constellation Lyra, which is a, a small constellation that's shaped like a harp or a lyre. And so we're heading in that direction. And so the meteors seem to emanate from that point in the sky. We call it the radiant. The Lyrids aren't the most prolific meteor shower. Its average is about 20 per hour under the best circumstances. But Historically, it has surprised some years, and there's been a much higher rate than average. The Lyrids peak late Wednesday night into early Thursday morning, but Matt tells us a nearly full moon will be up in the sky much of the night. Unfortunately, that's a, that's a drawback as far as observing the Lyrids this year. Despite that, there's a window of time where your chances of seeing a few meteors are highest. Between about 4 a.m. and sunrise, there will be no moon, and that would be the best time to observe the meteor shower. But don't get discouraged if it takes you a while to see one. The meteors occur randomly. You know, we can say they might occur at a rate of one every five or 10 minutes or so, but there might be two in a row. There might be none at all for a long time. To maximize your chances of spotting the Lyrids, Matt says it's important to get an unobstructed view of the night sky away from light pollution. Make yourself comfortable, stay warm, um, watch the sky for a while, and with any luck, you'll see a, a meteor or two or three. Of course, we'll hope the sky is cloud-free enough to see them, too. With this week's Skywatch 16, John Hickey, Newswatch 16.